nation. Still a nation. Still a nation. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's your man Kev Easy here, man. You know I'm holding the phone. It's going back and forth, but it's going to be fine on the final edit. You know, still is for seven podcast episode. What episode we on? 143 now? Look, man. Shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That watched the draft. Shout out to everybody. What's good? Conversations with Lamp. What up, Lamp? What's good? Yo, man. Whew. Yo. Omar Khan deserve an award. Man. You got the guys pulling up. You feel me? We're going to see. Because sometimes Instagram like to play around. So we're going to see. My guy, Troy. I didn't even try to like get his name right. You feel me? I, I should know it. I should be better. You know what I'm saying? I should be better. Because, you know, I rock with the bloodline, man. So you got a lot of fatus over there and whatnot. Usos and all that. You feel me? But I just know he's Troy. And he's ready to move people, man. I like that pick. Love it. Love it. Dre was good. It was good, man. What happened? I just send the drawing out. But yeah, man, I love the draft picks, man. We can we made sure that the offensive line was ready to go. Like whoever the quarterback is, we know it's Russell. Unless you know he get hurt, this is Justin Fields. Loving the draft, man. Draft was good. It ain't letting you. It ain't letting you uh pull up. Instagram be crazy, yo. Like, I don't get it. I might have to switch. Oh, all right. There you go. Up, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I'm saying stalling low key because I'm trying to pull up the information. You know what I'm saying? Like especially the last three picks. Like I'm not too familiar with those guys, but. I'm loving the draft pick, man. Since Omar Khan came, bro, we got two great draft classes, man. Absolutely. Like, I, I kind of been hype talking and all that, man. I'm going to just let you speak your piece, bro. All right, man. All right, so last year I did my draft review. Yes. Because we addressed our needs on the offensive side of the ball as far as getting whoever our starting quarterback is protection. So we we that was um, a hell of a call. And you're right, Omar Khan, you know, let that man cook. He knows what he's doing. Didn't have and afraid to get the guys we wanted, man. Fire. Oh yeah. Troy Fatuato uh Troy um Fautano. Yeah. Oh yeah, Troy Fautano. yeah. Yeah. That's the fast on the yeah. Yo, man, I mean, that's the ooze. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. the people. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's the ooze. man. Make sure you lock in. If y'all watching or watch this, you feel me? By the time this comes out on the tube, never mind. Because I forgot this come out real quick. Like, right after this show's done, you feel me? It's going to be out. All DSPs and uh, YouTube and all that, man. But yeah, man, like, Fatu, I'm going to just call him Troy Fatu. If he don't like it, just correct me, bro. <laughs> we going to get it in due time, man. But go ahead, bro. But yeah, bro, like, you know, that was our first, you know, order of business is addressing our D-line. Like, we might not have gotten the center. We might not. Well, I'm going to get to that in a second. Now, a lot of people said that we were going to get a, a center in the first round. But I was like, nah, let's go ahead and dress, you know, getting him some protection on that, you know, on that strong side. So, you know, I like the pick, you know. He's a pretty good size old lineman. You know, he he's a bull too, man. You know, he need you know, we got the inside strength that's just what we needed. And yeah. yeah. But now yeah, man. Pick, uh, like all the linemen we got, bro, these motherfuckers like to move people, man. They bulls. That's exactly what we needed too. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Trying to pull up the whole draft. Yeah. Um, now, second pick, Zach Frazier. Now, a lot of Steelers Nation was calling for Zach Frazier specifically, and by God, Omar Khan listened. Omar yeah. Khan listened, Mike Tomlin, they, that's the thing. I love it, because a lot of people criticize that because, like, oh, well, a lot it's a lot of fan service he picks. But, hey, sometimes you got to listen to the fans to get results, man, and, o and Omar Khan, you know, he knows what the hell he's doing. 
And so, yeah, we need that. We needed that replacement center big time. Everybody was calling for us to draft a center, and we got the best one available. Like I said, I've watched some game tape on Frazier. Once again, he's a big boy. He's a bull. And hopefully, you know, the, big, the biggest thing for a center is, you know, that, that ball cut. That ball cut, man. man. What's up, fellas? Hey, what's up, buddy, Mitch? What's up, what's up? Huh? We're talking hey, about the – You say you're talking about who? The Steelers 2024. The hey, yo, getting Frazier, I was geek. Yes, but, that was a but, fan but, hold on, but Kev already know. When we got when we got my man, when we got my man uh coming from out of Michigan, boy. I was, yeah, we getting into like, that right now. We getting into that right now. Before we even do that, how you feel about the Troy pick? Yeah, Troy fought a lot of it. I loved it. Like, yeah, for the people and all that. I love it because we addressed the, we we addressed what we needed to address, bro. We ain't fake about it. You know what I'm saying? We we went right to it. I'm loving Khan, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, man. And hey, you already talking about Zach Frazier. So now we on Roman Wilson. Yo, it, yo, it's funny, right? When we got Roman Wilson, I was like, yo, I remember him making some good catches this year, like this past year, right? Yeah. I'm like, yo, he's perfect in the slot. Cause I heard a lot of people, a good amount of people that wanted like um what's the old head name? Uh Winfro. Yeah. Nah, I ain't want no Renfro, man. It was he a lot of prone. Yo, we wanted him like just to fill in the slot. Really hey, the Twitter folks. Hey, bro, or the hey, X for Hey Kev, I'm I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred with you, bro. Some of these people just be saying stuff without having no education behind what they saying, bro. Like Twitter. Like Renfro, Talk. don't get me wrong, Renfro is a good receiver, but he injury prone, dog. Why would you want to put somebody on a team who always hurt? Like, that's stupid, bro. Like, come on. Yo, come on, man. Look, look, I was going to get into all that. I was going to get into all that, yo. But, <laughs> right, hold on, let me just finish this, right? right? Look, what I saw from Roman Wilson, I only saw what he did this year because oh, I caught I a lot of in games, you feel me? I'm a year. Michigan fan. You, you know this. But I had I had a family that went to Michigan, so I kind of had love for Michigan. Michigan is like my second or third favorite team. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Favorite. Excuse me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But just watching him, I'm gonna say, yo, he make a lot of good catches. Like I couldn't really compare him to nobody, but I'm like, yo, he's somebody that can definitely be. If I had to compare him to somebody, or Heinz Ward and Heinz Ward's nah. years. Nah. Oh, eight. He, he not big as Hans. Yeah. Yeah. He not big as Hans. But, but here's he the thing. thing. Just short hands. Yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying a block. Like, he can block. He want to block. You feel he me? A burner. He a burner, yeah. dog. He got, he got top end speed. Yeah. But see, that, that's the thing is, you know, you got your slot guys, you got your deep ball guys, you got your blocking wide receivers, then you got your wide receivers that can run routes. We, I mean, uh, Wilson is a combination of the two. He's a guy who he could probably use in the slot, and then he's a guy who can run those routes that, you know, gets. he's probably one of the best guys who can get separation that I can think of right now. But the question is, how do we use him? Nah, do we I use know, him in a slot? I know how I use him. I know how I use him. He use him the same way Michigan use him. He, he more than a slot guy. He can be the, he can be the number two to pickings. He can run routes. He got good hands. He can catch some intermediate passes. Mm -hmm. that, that's his MO. That's what he did. That's what he do. But I say we use him as our top route runner. Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. That's yeah. what he, he I'm be honest with you coming in. He he already kind of got that. Like it's not even um I was about to say he the best route runner hey, on, on the team already. I don't know who else qualify. No one else do qualify. But also another question. Does he start day one or should he start day one? <laughs> they can't can nobody can nobody see that demon, bro. I was still my son, bro. <laughs> I don't I don't know, man. Um I'ma say yeah, but I don't really do that because you already know like Mike Tomlin, he he don't, he don't spot for, rookies. When it comes to the skill guys and you a you a um rookie, you really gotta earn it. You George really Pickens did. He George, did. Hold look, on, Pickens. Did, look, Pickens look, I remember look, Pickens didn't start on the gate, yeah. and then and then when he but he was tearing it up in camp though. Remember he was crushing yeah, it in camp. He was making his name known early. Yeah, yeah. So I mean he earned it though. You know what I'm saying? He had to earn it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean I'm not. I'm, I love our draft, man. I, I love everything we've been doing over the last two years. To be completely honest. Well, Mark Khan took over. Just Khan took over. 
we ain't we ain't faking about the draft picks no more. We ain't being super cheap about the free agents no more. We actually addressing our weaknesses, and we not addressing our weaknesses in the cheapest way possible. Yes, I love, I love this man. I do. We're playing. We're taking taking risks. Yeah. For the first time, for the first time in a decade, we're actually taking a risks, decade. and I love it. Hey, no, hey, hey, Dre. It's been longer than a decade. <laughs> it's been longer than a decade, bro. I know y'all younger than me, but it's other people that'll tell you it's been longer than a decade. It's probably been like two decades, maybe even three. <laughs> No bull. Because I, I, I went to Steelers fan until 1999. So, yeah, I've only been a Steelers fan for 25 years. So, yeah. Okay. So, I've been, look, I've been, I've been a Steelers fan since like early 80s. Mm -hmm. You know look, what I'm saying? I, I, I went through the rough times. Oh, you uh, went through the, you went through the Bubby Brister yeah. days. You went through the Neil, o the Neil O'Donnell's. Yeah. You went yeah. to the, but the, the, the corner. But look, but let me, I'm going to keep it real. Like, I, I can't stand Neil O'Donnell, but I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah. Neil O'Donnell had us. We was, we was tough. You know what I'm saying? We was, tough and the defenses we had back that time was serious he just could never get us over the hunt with his goofy ass <laughs> over but like yo hold on let's get let's 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 wrap up the draft and i gotta ask y'all some questions man uh, the still draft the still of the whole draft came in round three pick 98. nc state you know me uh man, what's her name yeah Drake. uh thing the, the tag team, the women. What's her name? Katana Chance, the black John? Yeah. Is a black John the white John? What's her name? That's Katana Chance? What's her um, name? Yeah. Um, on NXT. Talk about, I just don't know the name. On NXT. I forgot her name. She be going like, I can't. Yeah. I don't even want to do that. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. I've seen her, though. Like I don't know her name. So I was going to shout her out, but I can't remember which one is that. It's foul. WWE doing them dirty. They should have kept the titles. Y'all hear that on Wrestle with Greatness. You feel me? On Monday. But look, yo. Peyton Wilson, son, we've been looking for a duel with an eighth of what Ryan Shazier athletically had. Mm -hmm. You feel me as far as gifts? Mm -hmm. Peyton Wilson, bro, my favorite plays of this guy is when he's chasing people down. Nah, you, from, you got, you got, hey, yeah, you need to go, you need to go extensively look at his film. He got some joints where he, where he crushed it at the line of scrimmage. But our front right at the line of scrimmage, bro. Our front seven has the potential to be the most dangerous in the league. I mean, just look at our front three D line. And thing is, all tell me, tell me how scary this sounds. Nick Herbig, Alex Highsmith, T.J. Watt, Peyton Wilson, out the gate. Tell me how scary that sounds. Say you talking about starting? Yeah. They not starting. You all of them not going to start. But on Peyton, they ain't going to start. But it, damn, we got Patrick Queen up there. Yeah, I'm, we got Patrick yeah, Queen, Queen, bro. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, we don't know what Cole Holcomb going to be. It's a potential that he can still be the guy that we saw last before still he got, got hurt. Still got, but you got to remember, we still got Roberts. Yeah, we still. Elaine Roberts, but we still got Roberts. Yeah, we, I think he's going to play like a Vince Williams rule. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe so, too. I believe so, too. And then and then, and then I hope Pay, I hope Peyton hit the ground running. You know what I'm saying? If he do, that would be great. Yeah. But then that I mean he get time, more time early. You know what I mean? Injuries will probably hold him back, but I don't think, you know, I'm not even looking at that like, yo, he gonna get hurt. Even, Everybody get hurt. Been hurt in two years. Yeah. Like the people been uh, gassing that. He been hurt since 2021. That was the last time he was hurt, man. People pushing up on me. We gotta think about it. That was a, a late third round pick, bro. If we can get something out of him, that's great. True. Yeah, I think you know Peyton low key was a Derrick Henry stopper. He gonna be a Derrick Henry stopper, man. Cause you know Derrick Henry from. Starting point to line of scrimmage, you, gotta, you can rock them. You get them before you get started. Yeah, you can rock them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get past the linebackers, it's like, oh, all right. Shoot. We about to look like we about to look like them with Najee and Justin Fields back that thing, fool. Everybody okay. forgot. They forgot. I'm more happy for Najee than any other player on the team. Yeah. yeah. Him and Warren about to look. They, him and Warren about to look. Okay, they about to go crazy. Yeah. Look, a lot of people sleeping. They about to go crazy, bro. For real, and Patterson, too, you can add Patterson into that. You know he's gonna get some type of wreck. Yeah, his special, some type of his him on special teams gonna be so big for us, especially mm -hmm. since we got they got them new rules. That was one. Of, yeah, like if you want to know if we're in a new era of the Pittsburgh Steelers, that signing at the time of the signing should tell you everything. That would have never happened under Colbert. No. 
It would have never happened. We want to get Jalen Rossum again. Not let me not do that because he did run on back, but he wasn't who we thought he was when he came over here, man. He, he would he wouldn't have been on his team. I'm gonna say you that, and neither would Patrick Queen. It's a couple of people I can say I know they would not have been on this team, bro. Whole lot, bro. Even the draft picks, we would have got small linemen, bro. Small one, like Kendrick Green. You know what I mean? We don't try to not um our first pick because he um was six three. Yeah, okay. but it's like his okay. arm longer than Joe Ox. So what do you what are we doing here? Yo, he was a first team All American, bro. I don't think he was on. He was he was on the. He was on the line that won the great, the, the best offensive line of the year award last this past season, bro. People, I hate, it when was, people I hate it when people criticize players that they don't even know nothing about. And you can t tell X is like the playground. I'm not gonna hold you. Mm -hmm. It used to be the Facebook groups, but I, but I get kicked out of there because people be getting bullied and all that. That's what they say. Uh, even though they so start, hey, we go in there clowning. We go in there clowning, yeah, bro. If you're not in, if you're not in Mitch's group. You feel me? Granted, it's catered to DMV, but he let people like me up in there, yeah. and I ain't from the DMV. So, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, keep we gonna allow down. people to come. We gonna allow people to come in there as long as you ain't coming in there and disrespecting people. Yeah, then we Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's based yeah. out of DMV, but we ain't, we we letting people come in from all over. You still a fans? You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we all still a fans at the end of the day. As long as you ain't coming in there disrespecting people. But we have, but we have our conversations. We be having battles in there too, but it just don't get disrespectful. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yo, man, you're 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 nothing but n words. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we ain't on that. We ain't on that. That's that we, well, we will not fire, on that, we bro. Will fire, I'm not gonna hold you. You will get your. Yeah. See, look, this is the part. This is the part. We're gonna finish the draft, but let me let me let me finish it not like this part, right? Look, that is only gonna make me laugh because I know you have nothing left. Exactly. Not knowing. Hundred thousand left. That's why yeah, that, I became booed these groups. That That's don't, why that I don't bother me. You got you got to do something better than that. You got to do something better than that, Holmes. Word, son. Word, man. But look, our next pick back to the offensive line. G -g 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 guard, yeah. guard, Mason uh, McCormick. Mason McCormick, mm -hmm. South Dakota State. Another yeah. big guy. You know, um, you know who he, he kind of remind me of. Who? B.J. Finney. Hmm. Kind of. Yeah. He, he, uh, from what I was told, I, I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him, but I know some people who seen him. They said he an angry lineman. I love yeah. those. Yeah. I love those type of linemen. We had Marquise Pound. So yeah. Marquise Pound was like a different type of mean, you feel me? So it was like when we saw B.J. Finney, he was like, hey, yeah, he's just one of the guys. Nah. But B.J. Finney was a rough dude too, man. Yeah, well, he but was that, they, he, he, they said he angry. He like. Y'all, like, again, y'all younger than me. Y'all ever seen the program before? The movie called The Program? <laughs> yeah, he said, they said he like cuz on that joint. Like, he be going on. I was like, hey, he in the right place then. <laughs> he he like, what, what better team to come to than, than us? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yo, you know what's funny? I'm a Knicks fan. I don't know what teams y'all like in the NBA. But Man, I don't even want to talk about that right now. My team trash right now, bro. Oh, and three type shit. But yeah, type, yeah, type shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, nah, 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 I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that, man. But like the New York Knicks, they finally started getting players that match the identity of the city and, and the, the identity coach. of the. You feel me? And the coach. And the coach. The Pittsburgh Steelers are doing that under Omar Khan. Yep. You feel me? Like we're yep. getting Mike Tomlin's team. We're getting the Pittsburgh Steeler team. We're getting guys. Well, we won't have the question leadership for at least another decade. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. You know what I'm saying? So I like that pick. I don't think he's going to start over Isaac, but he's definitely Isaac's successor. You know I don't what think, I mean? I don't, think, I, think he, I don't think he's Isaac's successor. I think he's um Daniels. He might be what's, yeah, he might be Daniel's successor because Daniel's on the contract here, so. If anybody is him, but I don't, I don't, I don't think Con letting, I don't think he let neither one of them go because both of them are are are, are good. They are real good. Letting Dobson go like that. Who? God, at least keep Daniels, bro. I gotta keep both. Hell with that. Yeah, yeah. The young boy, the young boy. Yeah, you, but you know what I'm saying? Cause the two, cause the two Bamas on the edges, the two youngest on the edges, they we, we ain't got to worry about their contract for like another three years. Really? And remember, bro, when we had those good offensive linemen, we kept a backup guard that can kind yeah. of play center 
now and then, but we kept a backup one that can start somewhere else. Yeah, you and, know they, what I mean? and they always had they always had the ability to play center and guard, mm -hmm. just like him. Uh, Kendrick Greens. <laughs> nah, that was a slip up. <laughs> <laughs> so sixth round, we didn't have a fifth round pick, but we had two sixth round picks. Man, Logan Lee, DN, beef up. Um, I think he. No, yeah, he, a beef up that he a defensive tackle. He a defensive tackle. He a defensive tackle. Yeah, beef up that D line. Okay, they, they had him. They got him listed as a DN here, but yeah, I know they got he, third and something. He um, youngin. All right, so, so he went to Iowa. He yeah, was a yeah. run stopping defensive oh, tackle. Right. He a run stopping defensive tackle, and Iowa was on that all season. They had one of the best defenses in the country. I think they were top five. Yo, you know what that kind of said to me a little bit? What's that? What's the name might get cut? He might not make the fifty three. Who's that? Who? Mr. Do uh DeMarvin uh Leal. Oh, he might not Leo. Huh? He might not. Hey, look. He might Logan be. Lee. Leal. I do come in and do just a little better than him. And it's already like, like he's on the hottest seat, what, Mr. What, Leal. What, what, what is going on? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> See all black and that's what that's how we feel. That's how we feel with, with the stunning shades. That's, that's how we feel. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I thought when we picked him up. I was like, it, I'm not sure. Like, do we still have a lot of milk? Or did yeah, not nah, on the team. He's still, he's still on the team. Yeah, a lot he, of might on be, the team. he might be the odd man out. Really? Yeah, it depends. But the that's, thing is, you know, the these guys, but that's the thing. But the beauty of it is that these guys are interchangeable. Yeah. You can switch them up with certain schemes depending on, you know, depending on offenses. I mean, excuse me, depending on what defensive scheme you want to run. Because the Steelers, we won a 3-4, don't we? Yeah. Three linemen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we run a 3-4. So it's not too crazy to think that we can't rotate some of these guys around. No, nah, that's so that's what's already going on. So, yeah, you're right. It, 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 certain guys can move the tackle. Yeah. Certain guys can move the end. Like like certain guys is like Cam Cam Hayward Cam and Larry O Larry O both of them can they can make interchangeable parts they can move inside in the middle or on the outside but then but then we got dudes who like pass rushes in the nickel and dime sets you know what I'm saying thing. so lately lately you know we haven't been jamming up the line lately because like a lot of other people say that one of, our, one of our biggest problems is being able to stop the run sure we can get to the quarterback but sometimes a lot of those running backs be blowing right past our line and that's one of the uh, issues that we needed to address and our d and you know that de you know that could be um that could be the that's best crazy, of that's, that is crazy bro <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy hey hey dre hey dre you got to be careful <laughs> Now he don't I said, hold on, what he say? <laughs> I gotta be more specific because everything is paused right now. But anyway. hey, hey, Cam, y'all can't be doing this with you on the live, bro. Yeah. Hey, anyway. hey, hey, Dre, we was on a we was on somebody's podcast, bro. They were talking crazy. Cam was going off on that. Show. Hey, that was hey. We, we was on. We was on DeAndre joint or something like that. Fool. Hey, yeah, okay, it was going off. I was like, boy, hey, yeah, he wild, man. <laughs> was he blatantly crazy? Was he blatantly saying pause words? Yeah, and he shit? was. He was off. He was off the chain, bro. Like, who was off the chain? <laughs> he was. He was saying some wild oh, shit, bro. I was like, yo, calm down, homes. <laughs> man, I can't. <laughs> Ooh, I need oh my God. But um, can, bro. <laughs> did y'all have any more to uh, talk about as far as um my D Marvin Leal situation? Like, what y'all think is up with him? Like, I have no idea. Y'all think he gonna be? Y'all do y'all believe up in the air right now? D Marvin Leal, it's a really open. Air. I mean, I'm not saying the kid ain't got potential. And I'm not saying he ain't got a spot on this team because I'm pretty sure he does. It all matter. It's all a matter of him being outworked. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is because I I know I watched him at Texas A&M. And Youngin got talent. He played good in this rookie year. But that last year, I know he got hurt. But after that, it's like he just fell off. I, I read that he he got in, um, a bad a, in the uh, doghouse with the coaches. But I don't even be knowing if that's true, man, because the media be putting out some goofy narratives about these players, man. See, and a lot of times it don't even be real. It's false. I feel like that, that might be true <laughs> is the way Mike Tomlin talked about him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know I mean, if he got to Mike Tom or whatever the case may be. Power free season. 
Yeah, he, he gonna like, have to get up. He got no choice. He gonna have to get this. He gonna have to get it together. I know that much for sure. Yeah, man. He gonna have because he's talented. To get it he's definitely. Yeah, he definitely is. He definitely is. All right, my next pick, Ryan Watts. I know Dre. You was talking about cornerback since yes. the second round. Yes. No, after the first round. We didn't even get to the <laughs> the first round. We used to so hey, like, I jumped out of my damn seat. Ryan Watts from Texas A and M, and he's a DB. So yeah, you know A and M. I thought he was from Texas. Yeah, Texas. Uh, Sorry about that. I'm just saying Texas A and M. Long, yeah, he a Longhorn. Yeah, but yeah. God damn, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that Paul Gordon? Yes, it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That might be worse than the first I'll one, guys. Huh? <laughs> All right. Y'all gonna make me do my damn drink out. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. You, know. But yeah. you know, I was satisfied with Ron Watts pick. I mean, especially since I've been saying that we when was the last time, you know, our secondary struck fear into the hearts of quarterbacks? When was the last time this quarterbacks were actually thinking twice as scared to throw the ball on us, you know, down the field? It's been a decade. Make his first year with us. Hmm? I think make his first year with us. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, yeah, there was now when make a first, you know, when we first when we first picked up Maker, they did there's a lot it was a few quarterbacks that was thinking twice about throwing down the field. I'm coming back in a second. I'm I'm be honest with you. I don't uh I, I think I said this too and we was in the chat, Dre. It it right. wasn't necessarily that his quarterbacks were scared to throw. It was that but no, pass rush was getting to him so fast that, that you know what I'm saying, that, that they had to throw a certain areas, you know what I'm saying, but but when Minka got there, Minka made it almost hard for you to throw it in the middle of the field, you see what sure. I'm saying, if he made it rough on you to throw it on the middle of the field, and if you, you threw it, and if the ball was tipped or off range or anything like that, he got it, and I felt like last year, they kept, they moved him in the box because we we got rid of Edmonds, they moved him in the box, and that changed the trajectory of our, our secondary. You know what I'm saying? This year, hopefully, since we got Jefferson, since we got Jefferson. Hopefully, they go back to putting Minka in in the middle of the field. Yeah, like, yeah. Huh? and that's another thing is I was I think we're also was missing what was also missing from us in the secondary is us having a slot corner. You know, us having a corner that can blitz, a corner that can go right past defenders, we can get to the quarterback really good. I'm so sorry, y'all, man. My son's out here, man. Wow. <laughs> what up, what up? youngins? What up? What's going on? They, they, can't, they can't hear you. <laughs> what are you doing? Bro? What is? You... Hold on, bro. I gotta show y'all this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How you walk to the mailbox? Cash exclusive. The life of Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> Ooh. You run what? back in the house in the mailbox? <laughs> man, shut up. <laughs> all right, all right, fellas, man. I'm out. Yeah. All right, money, all right, Mitch. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. but, yo, that's all I got to say about Ron was. I was, I was uh, happy with the pick, you know, that we went with the um, with, with making the secondary stronger. Okay. Okay, okay. So overall, yo, what's up? Let me get a grade from this draft. All right, I say B plus. Let me I was about to say this before you go. You can't use minus or plus. You gotta give a solid letter. All right, B. B? Yeah. B. Uh, B. Uh, I ain't mad at the B, man. It's cause of how we end it. But I'm gonna go with A, man. I'm gonna go with A because we addressed all of our needs. We got our work. Earl needs yeah. early. You know what I'm saying? We got our offensive tackle. He played left, but he really played the role of a right tackle. You know what I'm saying? Because um, Penix, Penix was left-handed. You know what I'm saying? So Penix had um, – so basically Troy was playing right tackle, but he was on the left side. Yeah. It ain't hard to do the same thing on the other side, you know? And, um, and if, if it is hard – well, hard for me, but look, uh, <laughs> I like that. I like that we got our center, and not only that we get a center, we got a center that fits the mold of the Hall of Famers that play that position. 
position, right? The yeah. Mike Webster, Mike Webster, I think had like a hundred million, a hundred million concussions. Sheesh. Yeah. He, like Mike Webster played for a long time too, if I'm not mistaken. I think he had like maybe a twenty year career or close to it. I'm not too sure. I might actually look that up. I might actually look that up. Um, but yeah, so we got our center. Then we get our, to me, I feel like our first down guy. And Roman Wilson. I yeah. feel like Roman Wilson is going to be able to, probably going to lead the receivers in first downs. Probably. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like, like his makeup. You know, tough, not scared. He's definitely going to be somebody that we look back at like, ain't we lucky we got him. But then in our, for our fourth pick to be Peyton Wilson, like, come on, man. Yeah. He should that was a, really – first said that's a steal of the draft. Huh? huh? Every, a lot of people say that that was a steal of the draft, for us anyway. Yeah. Like, like – he could have easily been the first round pick. Yeah. Easily. You know, but that play on injury history and him not having an ACL is like, I guess it knocked him to the third. But ain't we lucky we got him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then after that, we go back to the line to get that, like, in the guard position, inside. One of them guys have to come out. out we can plug this guy in. Right. Plug him in, he's going to continue to move people. I like Logan Lee. That's that. And that's challenging, like I said, the, uh, the Marvin Leal and others, like Isaiah Laudermill, to kind of step it up. Logan Lee, he was third in something, man. I'm, I really can't remember at this moment, but he was third. And then the finish for Ryan Watts, it's like, yo, okay, we finished up. And then it had me thinking, like, yo, we still have Corey Trice who technically is going to be a rookie again. I don't know how the NFL do it, but I know the NBA, if you like red shirt in your first year, <laughs> like a Ben Simmons or not, you can win rookie of the year the next year. So I don't really know how it's going to work for um, Corey Trice, but we still have him, you know. So I, I love the draft, man. I honestly feel like this draft was better than last year's draft. But, of course, we would have to, like, put that theory to test when the season starts. For sure. But, you know, um, I, lo I love the draft, man. I love the draft. Definitely. Now, draft over, I'm pretty sure it may have come out um, us signing the free agents and whatnot that didn't get drafted. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. If not, it'll probably come out. Okay. All right. Bet. Here it goes. Here, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. That pull up for a second. So shout out to the undrafted free agents we signed. Benny Bishop, cornerback from West Virginia. Dejon Edwards, running back from Georgia. We got a Georgia running back. So if you plug him in, he could be the Anthony McFarland. I don't really know. I, his name sounds familiar. Like I remember his game, but I'm not too familiar. Um, but, but you know, he's a running back. And we know how undervalued a running back is, so he might mess around and be a Jim Warren. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like somebody oh. was like, should have got drafted. You know, um, we end up getting the quarterback John Ray's Plumley from Central Florida. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. We got Julius Wellscoff or Wellstroff, linebacker from Charlotte, and we got Jacoby Win Winman, linebacker. Out of Michigan State. Now they, they got some a little info in here as far as uh, the defensive back Benny Bishop. He has sixty-seven tackles, fifty-four was solo, so that tells you he knows how to tackle. Four interceptions and in, um, while starting thirteen games. I don't, they don't have the size of these people here, you know. The Georgia running back Dejon Edwards, he played fifty-one games. Carried the ball 390 times for 2,083 yards while adding 24 touchdowns. Now, he only appeared in 12 games last year, starting 10. So, that, he led – okay, and last year he 
led to Georgia in rushing with 169 carries, 65 carries, and 88 yards. Um, having 13 touchdowns, you know, putting him fifth in the SEC. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, he was putting up numbers there. The quarterback, John Ray's Plumley, played in 52 career games, starting 33. Come on, man. We do that, bro. Uh, completed 464 out of 760 passes, throwing over 5,000, close to 6,000 yards, and 34 touchdowns. Last year, 15 touchdowns, over 2,000 yards. Um, the linebacker, Jacoby Winman, Winmon, who probably wants to be called Winmon, played in 11 games, recording 64 tackles, 23 was solo stop, so you can tell he's a special teamer at heart. <laughs> he had 12 and a half tackles for loss, and he had six and a half sacks, six horse fumbles, three pass deflections, and an interception. Special teams. That sounds like special teams right there. Oh, yeah. Then, and the defensive end from Charlotte, Julius Welshoff. Um, okay, he was hurt last year, only playing four games. We, he began his career at Michigan, though. He played 35 games at Michigan. And that's, that's, about, that's about it. Uh, he's from Germany. The name told me he's from over there. But, yeah, so shout out to those guys, man, you know, we don't know who, who's going to be the James Harrison, who's going to be, the, you know, let me not say James Harrison because he had to go through the cut process, Yeah, right? Um, who's going to be the the guy just named, Jalen Warren? Who's going to be that? All right, these guys. We'll see. I'm going to do my work because I'm not too familiar with any of them. I think I know about Dejon Edwards a little bit. Um. But, yeah, I'm going to do my homework on those guys. So, shout out to them. If y'all make it, y'all make it. If y'all don't, don't stop. Y'all dream, man. The chair. So, look, we got extra cornerback. How you feel about that? Uh, I actually like the idea of, you know, us having a extra quarterback. I mean, I mean, corner, but, yeah. But, yeah, we always need that depth position. Always. Mm. You know, because you know what injuries could happen. You never know if some crazy-ass trade could happen. So, hey. The guys at the front office know what the hell they're doing. So much like everybody else, we need to trust the process because you never know. We could be surprised. Yeah, definitely, man. I want to be surprised in a good way, though, not in a yeah, bad way. For sure. <laughs> not in a bad way, man. Because what can go wrong will go wrong. I, I mean, like I said, with being a 25-year Steelers fan, you know, we've seen some dark days, dark times. But guess what? No matter how much adversity we've faced over the last few years, we always somehow find our way in the thick of things. Always. Yeah. Yeah. And we got the perfect coach, perfect GM. Um, I think I think Lil Rooney, he's stepping back. He's not really hands-on. I don't think he kind of was hands-on before, but I think that he's, like, kind of paying attention now. You know, like back then it was like, yeah, Kevin Cobra's good, Mike Thomas good. I don't really gotta. But after a while, I was like, yeah, man, what the? So now he's kind of a part. He's kind of being a part of it. You know, he's loving the process. You saw it's a picture out there of Troy at his press conference, and um, you see Mike Tomlin and Lil Rooney on the side just grinning. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, they they happy that that man up there, man. And it's like when you have an organization that's that happy with getting you, you know they're gonna put you in the right position. For sure, because that means they already have the plan for you. You know, so this is amazing. This is an amazing draft. I didn't look at the pundits out there that were ranking the draft picks. I don't think any of them made it yet. I'm probably gonna hear that on Monday, but um. Man, this year or last year, dra- draft class. Uh, I would say th- I would say last year. I I was more hype behind it because I was a, I was a little bit more familiar with the players. I was probably more familiar with the players, but this year was us drafting our necessary positions. Where right. to me, I might have to go with this year just because of the last thing you said. We really did what we were supposed to do. Yeah. Last year was more so like we had holes everywhere. 
So it was kind of like, yo, let's just pick the best people yeah. that we can get. This year, it was like, yo, we need this. Let's get that. Oh, that's what we want. Let's get them. Oh, shoot. We don't got to trade up for them. Let's get them. All the way to the end. I- I'm pretty sure, like, once we got to the... the uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It seemed like we got everyone we wanted, man. Because if you go all the way down and you look at guys' accolades, like awards yeah. and whatnot, their awards and backgrounds and stuff like that scream Pittsburgh still. You know? Um, shout out to Vince Williams. Me saying that just made me remember. I came across one of his tweets, and he said, yo, the Steelers drafted a whole bunch of Steelers. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. Not verbatim, but, you know, seeing that was dope. <laughs> Steelers mold, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, man. Definitely. So, what's next? We got the draft picks. Um, what's coming up? Um, OTAs? Yeah. So, OTAs, man. Get to see the people out there, man. Um, Steelers for 7 Podcast, episode 143. You know, up until the season, I'm going to say this now. When the season actually starts, we're going to be live on multiple platforms. We're going to do live shows. This is just IG live. You know, we're going to go back to, you know, the old way, in the, you know, after a while. But we're going to jump back and forth with the live shows and whatnot. But when that season starts, we're going to be live everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. 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 Yeah. Well, I got Dread up here. We got a new show Monday after Monday Night Raw called Wrestle with Grey. Greatness. We gonna get into it, man. We gonna talk about that. That episode might be a two parter. It might be like because this is gonna be like the first real conversation me and Dre had about wrestling. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like it's gonna be a whole lot of getting to know. You know what I mean? Like what's going on and all that. So uh, just be prepared, y'all. We this gonna be the first episode. We're probably gonna be alone or pause. But look, it's gonna be a good. So if you like wrestling and whatnot, man, make sure you check out Wrestle with Greatness, man. If you don't like wrestling right now, I don't know what's wrong with you. You feel me? Like it's been cool. I've been watching wrestling again since Sting and Triple H match. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't stopped watching it since. You know? So I seen the hard two thousand I I think two thousand nineteen might have been an all right year, but like from twenty seventeen to like twenty up until Roman. In the bloodline story, it was some dark days, man. It sure. was some dark days. But like once Roman came out, wreck everything and leave. If y'all pay attention, I'll put that in one of the songs for still uh for seven volume one. Volume two is I'ma do that. It's gonna be a little more consistent, man. I'ma have to suck it up when we lose certain games. <laughs> Pulse, but <laughs> I yo, uh, it's 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 it's, it's this is gonna happen, y'all. But yeah, man. This episode's in the books. You all hear me? It's your man Cat Easy. It's your boy Dre. Y'all know What's where to find on? me. YouTube.com slash Dreadman. All right, peace out. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and don't forget to follow the podcast on all streaming platforms.